what's up everyone today is going to be a bit of a an experiment video um i'm not riding but i have got my gopro on i am currently at a i suppose a client's um yard and um she has a little i think he's just turned three a little three-year-old pony who i am helping to start um back and um basically get ready for someone to hop on him so that's what we're doing today um i have my saddle in the tack room which is behind you but you'll see that anyway um and we're gonna do some lunging just some tacking up put some pressure on his back and just kind of the general things to help start the horse off so i'll take you with me with my gopro and what i do and i'll explain stuff as i'm going and hopefully it'll make sense to you because i ramble quite a lot so let's go get this little guy okay so we're catching this little spotty guy his name's apollo and he is he is accustomed to people um he just needs a bit of convincing when you try to catch him I don't know if everyone will recognise this other spotty guy. Uh, he's been featured in some of my videos, China. He'd be glad. He went out competing today, tent pegging, at, um, at the Melton Melbourne show. And he was in some rosette, so he did really good. Right, now how we catch him. Just get the lead right round him and he's fine. If you don't do it like that, he will run away. Yeah, you can run away. Come on then. Okay, so this is just this is my old saddle that I broke Archie in. Um so I knew it would fit him because they're quite similar shapes across the withers and across the back. Um, and this isn't going to be the saddle that stays with him forever, so it doesn't matter if it doesn't quite fit properly. But it is a good fit to be fair. Just some rats of eating in it. I'm sure you've put on weight since the last time we had this on, so... a big tub. Alright so for the bit we've just got really simple full cheek with lozenge. Really simple um, and you can also obviously be ridden in that when it's ready. Come on there mister. So we are, oh he already remembers, <laughs> good boy, okay so he's just attached to the head collar, he's not attached to the bit like normal lunging. Just because obviously he's still getting used to the bit so we don't want to make it bad for him. So as you can see, he's doing really well on this train. Drop. Drop down. Walk. 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 Oh, good lad. Good boy, Polo. So he's obviously getting 
getting used to voice commands because that's what um, will be used with him later. Good boy, Paolo. I've just got the lunge rip nicely down next to me. It's not interfering with him. Um, but it's there just in case. Just in case we need it as backup. Trot down. And uh, we'll definitely need it on the other rein. Come on, trot down. Walk. 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 Good boy, Bailo. Keep on going. There you go, good boy. See then, just put my lunge out. Oh, Bailo. Good boy. Just put my lunge out. Just to say. Turn back round, go forward. He's doing really well, he's surprising me today. Good done. And you're probably thinking it, it might not be very nice to keep him on such a small circle. However, I am by myself, so I don't have anyone to stand next to him on a larger circle to encourage him to go forward. And if he goes on a larger circle, he'll most likely either turn and run or just not listen to me at all. See, he pulled me there. So this is really the only way I can teach him to lunge. Um, and make it go reasonably successfully. Good boy. Good boy, Paolo. Good done. Hold. I don't necessarily mind the halt as he turns into me. So I'd rather him actually halt than continue to walk on. Hey, you're okay. Good boy. Good boy, you know. It's hard work, isn't it? It's hard work. Okay, so we're going to try the other way. This is his bad rain. As you can see, he's already not really wanting to go. So we're just going to stay and walk. Ooh. Good boy. And just get the confidence up and walk on a circle. And what we're aiming to do is we're just aiming to do, see he's already turning in a bit. The aim is to just to complete one circle of trot at a time. So instead of trying to push him to do like, you know, three, four, five circles like the other rain, then um we're just going to do one circle, back to walk and praise him, then ask him to do another one. The last time I lunged him, we managed to do, I don't know, three or four, like, single circles. So I think that's the way to go with him. Okay, good boy. So we seem okay in walk. Turns in a little bit, but not too much. Drop down. Drop down. Drop down. Ooh. 
Good boy. See, that was actually really good. Good boy, Polo. Good boy, Polo. Then it doesn't give him time to think about pulling away because you know he's in trot then he's in walk then he's in trot then he's in walk trot done trot done trot done Ooh. good boy so it's nice see i have the whip more behind him this rain because he tends to slow down and then that's when he stops so it's not really interfering with him it's just there as a gentle reminder to keep going forward good boy Pilo trot down trot down Good boy, trot on, trot. Ah, ah, ah. So I open my hands up, my left hand comes forward to ask him in the direction I want him to go, and the lunge line comes up just as a little boost from behind. And he's responding really well. And we'll trot him in a sec. This is on me, so he. He knows that I'm asking him to do stuff, he's listening to me. But also, his friends are up there and he wants to be with them. Trot down. See, we are only doing walk and trot at the moment. Just until he, he gets what lunging is. If I canter him now, he'll most definitely have a little tank around and pull away from me and he's a strong little bugger halt halt good boy today aren't you? You're getting it. You're getting it like a good boy. Right we're gonna do the other rain again. Yeah. the lunge out a little bit more see what he's like see he's taken that length nicely walk on that was a nice response little tap on the ground with the whip so he wasn't responding as quickly as I wanted him to walking walking good boy Apollo good boy good boy Mr Apollo so I have a, I have a tip for lunging if anyone struggles with getting dizzy um, basically when you're going round Ah, see remember the whips there so as you're going round you're obviously looking at him and that's when you start feeling dizzy you need to then just look at one point like as you're going round that's stable that's not moving even if it's just for like a second and it should make you feel less dizzy 
that's what I do and I've, I've been doing it for years and it works really well with me. Good boy. And every time he starts, he gets a rub. Show you that he's been a good boy. Normally I'd have treats with me, but I forgot to bring them. But by the look of his tummy, he doesn't need any more treats. Me a minute. Horse over in my mouth. Good boy. Alright. You're gonna be a good boy again this rain. They whip out, just to encourage. I'll try him on a little bit of a larger circle. Probably about the same as the left uh, the right rein. See what he does. Going forward. Uh -uh. Oh, that was my fault. I lost concentration because I was sorting the lunge line out. Yeah, I'd say this is about the same as the right rein. Just on. Good lad. skitty of people but he might always be like that Archie's like that I've had Archie four years yes maybe five years Archie's still skitty of people but he's a brave sort just the same as Archie I think that's why I know how to treat Apollo because he has the same temperament as Archie Alright, come on then, let's take you in. Alright, so we're all done and dusted. He had a nice little groom after. He saw pony nuts, so he's happy. He's now going back out in the field. Um, until next time. Well, hopefully he will be just as good. So I was very surprised <laughs> he was that good today. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it hasn't made anyone too sick <laughs> from all the, you know, going around in circles and whatnot. So I will catch you all in the next video. Bye. And bye from Palo.